Right guys, many questions. Can you actually run a ISP hosting provider using only open source applications? In the past, I have shown you how to install CentOS, for example, Web Panel, Cyber Panel, and many other applications, including FOSS billing. Now, FOSS billing, I think I done it not so long ago. And we talk about, yeah, about a year ago. So we got FOSS billing here. Let's go back to the dashboard. And as you can see, this has been installed and I got installed on a Hestia um, web panel, also open source. Leave the comment below if you want to know the entire process on how to install both of them. Everything is running on a Proxmox, all right? Um, I'm not sure exactly the entire, um, you know, how good your server need to be for the production. I got installed on a T two CPU and four gig of RAM, right? Or two v CPU and a VRAM as they are virtual. All right, let's go back to the force billing and let's go to the order panel. I got three panel, uh, sorry, three products here. I got a shared CWP, CentOS um, web panel, even though I think, oh, that's on as well, actually. Uh, I got it both on. And uh, let's go back here. And uh, I also got MIDI, and that is on a CentOS, okay? Um, let's see if I can actually log in into the CWP. Um, let's go to email. Is this is a CWP? It, it is, yes. Um, all right, so... You get, of course, you know, all the information about your uh, logins when you start the order. And technically, because I got uh, Estia already done, let's go to Estia, I do mini, right? I will use an existing domain, okay? Let's say uh, open source sound. Not go to UK. I'm going to go to next. I'm going to choose what I want. Again, it's going to be a five pound there every month. Um, again, you can choose monthly, yearly, whatever. I mean, you can set up that one there. Then you do the check uh, checkout, wait a little bit. And so as you can see, the actual, I have to log in you know, on the back end a second. And as you can see, it's active and it's been done. Um, somehow it didn't show up in the front. It looks like I'm having problem with the um, with the cron. So even though I got the cron running somewhere, here we go. So yeah, let's go back to the fast building front end. Here we go. Um, it's 27 today. There we go. It's active as you can see. Um, even though it failed, but it wasn't failed, it's actually activated. And as you can see, I got all the information here. Um, yeah, I mean, that's how easy it is. And yeah, you can run any, anything, you know, free of charge in a certain way. You only pay for the, the server, I presume, VPS. And if you're running from home, you know, from say from home, is it, that's up to you. If you got a good enough um, connection or internet connection, if you go for fiber, for example, yeah, you can run it. I mean, as long as you got a static IP, because that's what you need. Without static IP, I don't believe uh, it is recommended. You know, um, again, but is that that's up to you? Okay. Um, yeah, but you know, as you can see here, you can actually run it.
and I got to server. Uh, let's go back again on this one here. If I go to I think it's system, I got the hosting plan server, and as you can see, I got two um, server running. And again, those needs to be running on a public IP if you do a production, yeah, right. So you make sure you do that. Um, so it's the actual IP that is shown outside. This is a, a private IPs, as you know. So you need a public one. So yeah, that's it, guys. You know, um, that's all you need to get started. If you really think you you know you are interested in something like that, in a full tutorial on how to install uh, CentOS web panel again, if you want to do that, or Estia, and with the first billing, I can go and through and create a tutorial. Uh, yeah let me know guys you know what you think uh, leave a, a thumbs up if you really want it if i get enough um, you know buzz a lot of people want to know i'll make a tutorial right just don't forget to leave a thumbs up a like and leave a comment so i know you want a tutorial one or two won't cut guys so make sure is enough people so yeah share the video so the more they look at the more they're gonna say yes i want to love it I, I need a tutorial and i'll make one so thanks guys and I'll see you next time.